This is a workflow guide on how to use Smile Design. Before we get into the app, taking a good picture is really important for the digital smile tool. So let me give you guidance on how to take a picture of the patient. Have the patient take a seat near the wall in a fixed chair, not one with rollers. Put your DSLR camera on the tripod and adjust the height to be even with the patient's eyes. To minimize the patient's physical movement during the first smile and the second retractor cut, place an empty glove box between the back of the patient's head and the wall to maintain the patient's head position. Choose the best cuts and load the image from the Smile Design app. The system will automatically merge the two photos into one. Use Rotate to set the horizontal balance of the picture. Click Modify Lip Line to adjust the auto-created lip line. Place the dots where they don't change, even when the face uses the muscles to smile, such as the eyeballs, beside the ailer of the nose, and the middle of the eyebrows. Go to Consultation Mode. Choose Library from the bottom. Turn on the Texture option from the right. Choose Natural Texture and go to Texture Editor. Enlarge the teeth area and modify each outline to be inside of the teeth. Click Confirm. Now we have copied the teeth texture under the same brightness and lux. This is the best way to make the new teeth look like natural, lifelike teeth for consultation. Go ahead and modify the teeth shape aesthetically. Try to modify one side first and mirror the teeth for the other side. After modification, use the color options to emphasize more treatment results. Here is the recommended setting for natural color on the left. To give a whitening effect, input between 70 and 80 on the brightness control, like the one on the right. Use the preview for the consultation. Once the patient is satisfied with the result, measure the patient's central incisor with vernier caliper and remember the measurement. Now, come back to the smile design and go to measure mode. Mark the two points where you measured in the patient's mouth. Leave the actual teeth length in the blank and click calibrate. Now the system will calculate each teeth's width, height, and angulation based on your actual measurement. Go ahead and take a screenshot from the top to send it to your lab.
If the patient wants to receive data for further consideration, after saving the case, go to Share, and you can send the data in various ways.